<laughs> you wretched <laughs> intruder. You called yourself divine or whatever. I don't know. But you know what? I am not really interested. I just want to let you know that you don't belong to this family. You're definitely not my husband's daughter. Yes. And I am not going to keep my eyes short and watch you stay back in this family. Now carry your back and go back to that wretched prostitute of a mother <laughs> and tell her to show you who your real father is. My husband is definitely not your father. <laughs> exactly, mother. She doesn't even resemble my father. Exactly. You liar. Now get out. <laughs> get out. Uh, uh. What the? I should push her. Or you ask him. Get out! Get out! Get out! Look at her. Even the way oh. she sounds like a mosquito, the way she cries. <laughs> I just one heat and she's gone. Gates man! Gates man! Why did you allow this stretch in here? Shut that gate and, and, and block it. <sighs> Idiot. So you surprise me. How could you? How could you ask my own daughter out of my own house? Who is your daughter? This one? This intruder? There's no way this house can contain all of us. And she doesn't belong here. Listen to me. Please stop addressing her like that. Because the divine is my biological daughter and you know it. You know, the, the problem I have with you, when you blab, you, 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 you just keep blabbing. Because you know that I, I am I'm the calm one. But let me tell you something. This girl would never stay in this house. If she stays here. <laughs> My dear girl. Are you crying? Ah. Oh, crocodile tears. You haven't even started. You will see hell on earth. Listen, listen. What I want you to know is that the van belongs here and she's not going anywhere. Period. Oh. The earlier you, 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 you come to terms with this, the better for all of us. Oh, shut up! Shut up, Bessie! Every time you talk, I keep calm. And you think you have the upper hand. So, listen. Look at you! Are you not ashamed of yourself? You go around sowing your wild oats. And then you bring your products back into the south. Who knows what you'll bring next? Twins? Grown-up boys? Short boys? Fat boys? I don't even know. But you see this one? <laughs> Get ready for your hell. Stop. 
Excuse me. You love to shout. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's okay, don't cry. This is your place, okay? You're not going anywhere. Yes, this is my house. Uh, Susan, the vine is your sister. She is your blood. And I want you to take care of her. And I know that we will not have any problem in this house. Never! Never, father. Never will I accept this thing as my sister. Never! Susan! As for you, you will soon feel the heat. So you better go back to where you are coming from. Susan. Excuse me. Susan, will you come back here? The man is such a big boy. Don't mind them, okay? This is my house. I am the head of this family. There is nothing anybody can do to you, okay? It's okay, don't worry. Don't worry. All this will be over soon, okay? Hello, Ma. But ever since I arrived, it's not been easy. My stepmom vowed not to let me in. It's okay, Mom. I really needed to see my father. And I've seen him. <laughs> I've seen Caesar attack. But I came back and calmed the situation. I'm actually glad that he loves me. At least he loves me. Okay, mom. Okay. Bye, mom. Have you put the things in the car? Yes, ma'am. Okay, my bag inclusive. Good. Um, well, you've seen the situation of things in the house. That's actually why I'm going home. Okay, ma'am. And please don't tell your father about this. Uh, trust me, he won't find out. And as for that wretched divine, she should not partake in my meal. <laughs> what that? Trust me now. Mm? I do. <laughs> See me off. <laughs> Welcome, Dad. Thank you, Susan. Mm. How has been your day? I'm fine. Why are you frowning? Nothing, I'm fine. It's okay. Is your mother in? No, she has gone out. To where? At this time of the day? To the salon or shopping mall. Please, Father, I don't know. Wait, your mother has the effrontery to leave this house without letting me know? Not even a call? So she's not the end of this family, right? Oh, please, Father. Excuse me. Susan! Will you come back here this minute? How dare you walk out on me? You better be careful. I'm sorry. And where is the vibe? Welcome home, Dad. How are you? Okay. Good to see you. Hello, ma. Hello, Susan. I hope there's no problem. Hmm. Mother, there's problem. 
There is big problem. You know that he came back and was shouting. He was shouting that you left without telling him. Eh? I hope you didn't tell him of my whereabout. No, not at all, Mom. I, 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 I did not. Eh, Mother, I hope you must have reached your destination now. Not yet. I had the same challenge. But I'll soon be back. Hi. Okay, Mother. Eh? Take care of yourself. Bye. All right. You too. See you soon. Honestly, I, I don't get it. Eh? That little wretch coming into my house to destroy my home. Ah, no, 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 no. I won't take it now. I won't take it. She must leave. My sister, take it easy. I want you to calm down. You see, in human life, there are a lot of things, so many things the physical eyes cannot see. My advice to you in this situation is that you go back to your husband's house. Yeah? Yes. Go back to your husband's house. And when you get back, take that girl as your own child. <laughs> yes. Listen, there are certain mistakes that once they are made, there's nothing anybody can do to reverse them. Yes. Don't forget. Nobody knows tomorrow. That particular girl might be useful in future. Useful to who? Useful to you. Please! Please! What do you mean useful to me as what? I don't want to hear that nonsense, so. I know this is her mother's plan. She sent her here to scatter my home so that she would now move in. Then I'll be outside. Ah, no. It can't work now. It can't work. You see, that is why I love mother. It's just a pity she's no, no, not around anymore. My sister, like I said earlier, in human life, there are so many things the physical eyes cannot see. Nobody knows tomorrow. Why not calm down? Take this advice from me. Take it. At least you watch and see what will happen. Please, please, please. Mother would have given me the best advice what to do. You're always talking about physical and spiritual. That's why you never move forward. You can't do a way that you cannot do without physical and spiritual, because life is that we dwell in nature. Please, please I, don't want, I don't want to hear. I don't need your advice. You are eating. I was hungry. So I went into the kitchen. I saw food there. I decided to eat it. Really? I was hungry. I was hungry. How dare you? So you have the whole country to enter my mother's kitchen. Every time. You will laugh. Do you know I will teach you a lesson today. Susan, I said, go! Oh, yeah. I'd rather leave! Excuse me! Susan! Oh, 
you, baby. <sighs> How are you doing? I'm not fine. Don't Please give me something to give me. Let me just calm myself down. <sighs> Let me get you a seat to sit down there. Thank you. What's the problem? You're all looking worked out. Like, is everything okay? My sister. Hmm. My sister. <sighs> Hi. Hey, Becky. Hmm? Hi. I don't have peace anymore in that house. Ever since my father brought in that little rat, that wretch, I don't have peace anymore. Can you imagine? My own father sent me out of that, out of, out of the house because of that girl. Just relax. So what's your mom doing about it? My mom? Ah, she's not around. Uh -huh. Really? <sighs> yeah, just calm your nerve. Just calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. You can't be locked up because of that little swine. Now. Just calm down. Can you imagine? Just take your drink. I can't believe it. Eh? My father sent me out because of the man. I'll teach you a down. lesson. Okay? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Susan? Susan? Baby! Lucy, where do you think you're coming from? So you have the effrontery to split outside my house! Shut up! Spare me the tail. What? By the way, where's my daughter? A good mother. A good daughter always and vice versa. Boring. You have the effrontery to split outside my house, so did your daughter. I guess good of you have an understanding. What are you talking about? If anything happens to my daughter, you see that wretched thing you brought into this family? That wretch would become history. You cannot do anything, woman. Are you daring me? Like mother, like daughter. Excuse me. <laughs> this is like the ant daring the elephant. And he actually had the guts to push me. Stand too close. Did my daughter tell you where she was going? No, ma. She, she, she only asked me to open the gate for her yesterday. She, she went out. And you didn't bother to ask? That's because you're so stupid. No, I, oh, shut up! I don't really blame you. Is this your head that is causing all the trouble? I'm sorry, ma. You know what? From now on, I baptize you with the name Coconut Head. Now, will you get out of here? Thank you, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Look at the haircut. Coconut head. One day I'll break it and drink the water inside. Nonsense. Hello? How can you be asking me that kind of question? Where are you? Because of divine? And you didn't bother to call me? Now come back immediately. I mean immediately. Ha! I sent my daughter away because of that, that wretched wretch. We'll see. Let me not even load you with all that. Yes, but 
You should have called me now. You should have called me. Sorry, mother. My iron lady, mama. Mommy, I miss you. Mr. Mama. This man. You know, do you want ice cream? Yes, mother. I want pizza too. <laughs> but you see that wretched divine. I am going to shred her to bits. By the time I'm done. Becky, I'm still carrying three courses again. After trying to solve the, the, the previous ones, I am not lucky at all. I am not. Babes, calm down now. Calm down. Let's just leave here first, okay? I should calm down. How? Please, Becky, don't even get me angry. Eh? Don't be one course you fail. They tell me I calm down. I'm sorry now, Susan. I'm sorry. Let's just leave here first. Becky. I am going to threaten this lecture as to write off my career first. What? Yes. That's very risky to do. Are you sure you can face it to the end? I don't care. Oh. I am ready to face anything. Wow. Divine. Welcome, Susan. What are you doing? I'm reading a novel. Drop it now. I want you to copy this note. I will be using it to write this tomorrow. This is, this is much. You need to copy all of them. Are you mad? Divine? Welcome, Dad. Thank you. How has been your day? Mm, it's okay. Good. And what note are you copying? Susan asked me to help her copy the notes. Why? Uh, she's probably busy. All these? Yes. No, you can't do that. Just go to your room and relax. No, Dad, she really needs submit these notes tomorrow. Uh, listen, if she made this note urgently as she's claiming, she should photocopy them. Just go and rest. Hmm? Okay, Dad. Okay. Where are you going to? Are you done with what I asked you to do? Dad asked me to go to my room. of all the problems in this house. But I can assure you something. 
you will regret all this very soon. After you must have regretted it. Yes! Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Look, 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 look at the work she's given. Uh -huh. Without doing the work. That is all you can say. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. What else does she do in the house? Nothing. My friend Tina and her friend. Susan, I mean, be careful. Be careful. Father, I'm not Don't try this nonsense again. Let's go. Come with me. Be careful. 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 Are you and how dare you barge into my office uninvited? Mr. Peter, I am not here to ask your stupid questions. Well, my name is Susan Bassi. You are just going to do me a favor by writing up my carryover on GST 222. <laughs> 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 You walked into my office pregnant? I was just talking, you know. I didn't even know when I walked into your office. Presence in my office this minute. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know I don't know how I enter, so. You be quiet! Yes, my name is Percy. What? Yes, Susan is my daughter, quite all right. What has she done? I, I can hear you. I am with you. What? It's okay, thank you. Thank you. Darling! Darling! Sweetheart, where are you? Oh, you just love to shout. Yes, no. Oh, come and hear this. Hear what? A call just came from Ogoja Police Division that your daughter is in detention. Susan was caught molesting a lecturer today. Can you beat it? Caught molesting a lecturer? Yes. The lecturer must have done something for Susan to molest him. I wouldn't know that. Exactly, you should have asked. I asked when you get to the police station, you ask all the questions in the world. Does that mean you're not coming with me? I am not going with you. <laughs> Susan has been living to your expectations and not mine. What's the meaning of that? Susan is your daughter too. How dare you talk to me like that? Don't you ever open yourself up? Don't talk to you like that. Shut up! Shut up and sit down like a little rat that you are. Who's your mother? How dare you talk to me like that? By the way, do I look like your mother to you? Do I? That prostitute. Lucy! What? Did you just refer to her mother a prostitute? Isn't she a prostitute? Isn't that how you met her? Eh? You see, I will not take this nonsense from you. Oh, shut up! You're always defending this girl. I'm not even sure there's nothing going on between both of you. You see, what are you insinuating? Oh, you know what I'm insinuating. Now you get out of here. No, will you, will you stop, stop! See? Will you stop? Enough of this nonsense. What is the meaning of this? You know, you're actually the one defending this girl. So now she behaves anyhow. I don't blame you, but don't worry. I know very soon I'm going to catch two of you. Red-handed. Then I will deal with you. Lucy, I will not take this nonsense from you again. Oh, shut up and you get out of here. Get out of here when I talk to my husband. Get out! Got your arm. Got your arm. Lucy, what has come over you? One more word from you and I'll give you a death slap you'll never forget. And for your information. Don't you ever call me darling, darling. It's so irritating. You know my name, Lucy. Sweetheart, sweetheart. Darling, darling. What has come over you? <sighs> the 
Divine, I am so happy that you are now a graduate. In fact, it is the divine will of God that you study the content. Your sister Susan, she is a complete disappointment. I think you are the perfect one for the job. Wait, Dad, you want to make me your manager? Yes, of course. Do you have any problem with that? Divine, what is it? Are you, are you scared of something? <sighs> Talk to me, what is it? Dad, my stepmom won't be happy about this. And I have told you severally not to worry about your stepmother. I can always take care of her. Divine, do you know about preach tree and other accounting packages? Yes, Dad, I do. Then you're the perfect one for the job. Yes, you are. I am so proud of you, Divine. Hey, Dad. Yes, I am. Uh, officer, please. Tell the commissioner that we're back and safe. I would get in touch with him when we're more settled. Susan, you need to be very, very careful. If not for the relationship between your mother and the commissioner, you'd have rot in jail. Anyway, let me take my leave. Thank you so much. You will definitely hear from me. Okay. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I will let them know that I am Mr. Kenneth. <laughs> and I call the shots. <laughs> wow. Susan Bassi. Yes, too fast. Red number R2204. Postcode Echo 2660. Echo 2660. Fast, man. Yes, you've opened it. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Any score you see that is F there. Just change it to C. 
Uh, uh, are you on it? Okay. Uh huh. You're doing it now. Okay. Thank you. I'll go back to you. It is done. It is done. A good man. I cannot joke with my life for anything rubbish at all. I will never make a mistake that I want to be a good man and this 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 kind of bad girl just want to kill me for nothing. Eh? Hey! Hey! Can you get this dangerous thing? Hey! Hey! thank you for saving my life from. Yes, thanks, my brother. <laughs> Mr. Bassi, so good to see you again. It's so good to see you too, Prince Alex. <laughs> so, where are the things you brought for me from the US? Mr. Bassi, a lot of goodies. Trust me. Of course, I can trust you. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Bassi, tell me. His work and family. Well, work is very fine. Mm -hmm. I am sure of that. But I can't say the same for my family. A lot of miseries, honestly. It's given me a cause for concern. What is going on wrong? My prince, it's not something I really want to bore you with. It's actually a long story. Well, there is this daughter of mine. Her name is Divine. She's 22 years of age. She studied outside the country, London to be precise. But honestly, she is not the biological daughter of my wife, Lucy. Ever since Divine came to live with me in this house, my family has known no peace. Lucy has been maltreating her at every slightest opportunity. And the thing is getting me worried as I am talking to you. My family is torn apart. Brother, I told you to take you for the twelve hundred thousand naira you sent me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's okay, Paul. It's okay. Uh, in two weeks' time, I'll be sending another five hundred thousand naira to make it one million. Paul, I want you to make proper use of this money. Times are hard everywhere. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. What are you thanking him for? Look at him. Oh, so... Hey, hey! So this is what you do. I ask you for money, you tell me you don't have. But you have one million to give to that your useless brother. You see, why are you insulting my brother Paul? Excuse me? What has he done wrong? So you have one million to give to Paul. Yet I asked you for 300,000 naira. You told me you didn't have any money. Uh, Lucy, I am giving money to Paul for a business. He wants to start a business. You know it. This less Paul that cannot do anything for himself. Paul refused to go to school. And now you want to carry him for the rest of his life, right? Lucy, everybody must not go to school. Oh. Since he's ready to do business, let us give him the chance. What kind of business? What kind of business? Did you ask him? It would have been better if you had employed him as a cleaner in your oh, company. Come on, Lucy. Why, why are you like this? How am I? Anyway, I don't have time for your wahala. Please, by the end of this month, you give me my own one million naira. Lucy, this Otherwise, is... Oh, shoo, 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 shoo. not fair. Please, don't patronize me. Nonsense. Oh. One million. Useless Paul. Paul that cannot do anything.
comfort. You're not saying anything. You said you wanted to talk to me. We've been here for some time now. Why well, you're not saying anything? Comfort, come on, talk to me. You're my baby, you're my darling. <sighs> Uncle Bassi, I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. For who? For you, of course. Oh, come on, Comfort. How could you? How could you do a thing like that? Comfort? Oh, wait, wait, we only slept once. We had sex once. How could you be pregnant? But I've not slept with any other man for the past six months. Comfort. How, how could you do this? Comfort, say it's a lie. You're not serious, right? I'm not joking. Oh, Comfort, you just killed me. You just killed me now. I thought this would make you happy. How could you? Really? Comfort. And you said you loved me. Comfort, I love you, but... There is time for everything. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. You know what? What? We are going to abort this pregnancy. What? Yes. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> this pregnancy stays. Yes. <sighs> Prince Alex, if my wife was treating me fine, Honestly, I wouldn't have fallen for that temptation. I wouldn't have. Mr. Garcet, she should learn how to accept the child because the child is yours. Prince Alex, that is what Lucy don't want to hear at all. She don't want to see my daughter with me. Well, you know something? I thank God that Divine is a gifted child. Not only in academics, but in a character and otherwise. I can assure you, Divine is the kind of daughter that every man should be proud to have. Yes. Really? Of course, I know what I'm saying. Sincerely, my joy is full and divine. Then take good care of her. Of course, I've been doing and I will continue to do. Oh. <laughs> well, my prince, I think I should be taking my leave now. So soon? <laughs> Of course, this is my place. I can come here anytime, any day. <laughs> That's true. Well, I've told Kesh to organize your goodies. I can't wait to have them. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Mother, so that could be that wicked. If I didn't have you, I would have brought in jail. Well, that should serve as an eye opener to you. But that's by the case. I invited you so we can. Discuss something very important. Okay, Mom. Please tell me, what is it? I think, no, I believe, your father is planning on sending Divine abroad to do her masters. With the intent that when she comes back, she will take over the company by the time he retires. No, Mother. That will never happen. But I am the eldest. We will not let him do that. That is why I invited you so we can talk about it and decide on what to do. Okay, mother. So, what do I do? I think you should go into her room. Try to be friendly. I know she's been hoping and praying. Then ask her nicely for her certificates. You look at them, you congratulate her, tell her she's intelligent. Find a way to steal them and bring them to me. <laughs> My mom, that's a nice idea. Um, but, mother, yes. what will you do with them? I will keep them or shred them. Then when she's ready to go for her masters, there won't be any certificate. Yes. And she won't be able to do her masters. Good. Subsequently, she cannot take over the company. This mother. Mom. Don't worry, my sweet mom. I will do just that. Please. 
Ah, it is good to be smart. <clears throat> Hello. Well, um, I've come to reason with my mother about accepting you as my sister. Oh. <laughs> um, Divine, you are so intelligent and you have a bright future. And also, you can be happy with my studies. So, what do you think? <laughs> I have always considered you my sister. It's oh. just that you never wanted to come close to me. It's okay. I really want to now. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> wow. Um, 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 so there. Uh, can I see your certificate? What for? Uh, nothing serious. I, I just want to glance through it so I can sit up, you know. <laughs> so. Oh, well. I forgot it at home. I didn't bring it here. It's with my mother. You forgot it? Why? I just forgot it. <laughs> well, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, my sister. So, let's play game with your <laughs> Okay. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, yeah? I didn't bring it to Why? She said it's with her mother. She's lying. She is lying. Maybe. No. I can't go there now. Tomorrow. Okay, mom. Tomorrow we'll take her out shopping. When I just take her out. Okay, mom. Then I'll gain access into her room. Mm -hmm. And I'll look for her certificates myself. She thinks she's smart. My pretty sis. <laughs> hey, big sis. How are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. You look beautiful this Aww, morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you're washing. Mm. I can help you. No, don't bother. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll soon be done. Um, sis, there is this happening joint in the town. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to take you out. So what do you think? I would love to join you. Wow! <laughs> Don't worry, you enjoy yourself today. Mm? Don't worry. Right. Okay, then finish up with what you are doing. I'll be waiting for you in the parlor. All, All right. right, in a few minutes I'll be done. I just right. need to rent. Just do and go get dressed. <laughs> Fine, girl. I'll be waiting. Thank you. <laughs>
As long he came back. Not, not quite. Oh, Susan, this one that you are so amorous with divine today. I hope all is well. Oh, come on, Dad. Of course, all is well. I just took my sister out. Oh. Yes. yes, Dad. We had so much fun today. Yes, darling. <laughs> I am so happy to hear that. In fact, that is what I've been praying for every day. That both of you should be living like sisters. No problem, okay? Hmm? Wow. <laughs> Daddy left us. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is unbelievable. God, I just hope this is for real. Susan. Divine, can you see what I'm saying? Look at this advert. It is about an admission opening in Europe. Oxford wow. University to be precise. This is wonderful. You know what, Divine? I want you to further your studies. I want you to go and do your master's degree so that by the time you return, you will be more professionally competent to manage my companies. Oh my God, are you serious? Of course I am. Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is wonderful. How my stepmom feel about this? Oh, don't worry about your stepmother. I am spending my money. Just go in there and get ready your credentials. First thing tomorrow morning, we are going to the embassy to get more information. Yes, Credentials are missing in this house. Do you by any chance know where they could be? I have them. You have them? Bassi, you are so stupid. Don't you ever reason? Eh? Oh, you're thinking of sending Divine, your special daughter, abroad to get her master. And, and, and what is wrong with that? Oh, no, please! Senses? Susan, my daughter, is five years older than this girl here. Fine. She may have graduated before Susan. But that doesn't mean anything. Because you know what? 
She has to sit her butt here and wait for Susan to graduate. Then both of them can go abroad for their masters. Same country, same school, and maybe same course. And then when they finally get back, Susan will head the companies while defying a sister. Lucy, you are just impossible. Can you go in there in the name of God and bring the documents out this morning? Bassy, Bassy, Bassy. You know what I love most about you? You love to listen to your own voice. Okay. Yes, my prince. I've been thinking, you know. I've really been thinking of settling down. Mm. Even me, I've been thinking in that direction too. So. That's good, my brother. Mom! Mom! Yes, son? Oh, Mr. Cash, how are you? My queen. How are you? Fine, I saw you cold. Yes, Mom. Mom, sit down. Any problem? No, no problem at all, Mom. Mom. Yes? I... I would love to pay Mr. Bassi and his family a visit. Perhaps in two days' time. Mom! You? Mom! I don't trust you in this one. Mom! You know, Mr. Bassi traveled all the way from Ecom down to Calabar to visit us. Really? I'm cutting the man's I return the visit. Mm. Mom! My prince. I don't trust you in this one. In any case, no problem. <laughs> in that case, I will accompany you to go and see him. Mom! Yes. I am thinking what exactly you are thinking. Mom, I'm not thinking of anything. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, my prince. Please allow my queen to accompany us so the movement will be more prestigious. God bless you, Mr. Cash. Did you hear that? Okay, okay, okay. I give up. Uh -huh. At least let me say things for myself. Two good heads, they say that better than one. Okay, no problem, Mom. But, Mom, there's nothing, though. It's just to pay him a visit. Yes, there's nothing, and I'm thinking exactly what you're thinking. Oh. Berlin. You're here? Yes, darling. How has been your day? Oh, fine. Interesting. And ah, yours? Very well, too. Good. Darling, I have good news. Spill it. Prince Alex will be visiting us later today. You know, he just returned from the States. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, by the way, is he still single? The last time I checked. Oh. I swear that you know what? What? I want you to put up something together. I mean, something very delicious. We must entertain it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's not a problem. Let me in the room. Meet me in the I hope it will be for the money. Wait. Wait a minute. The prince is still single. Susan is single. Susan! Susan! Come, come, come. Where are you? Put down that drink first. Put it down. Okay, mother. I'm all ears. I just got the information from your father that the prince, Prince Alex, Prince Alex that lives in the States, yes, 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 is in the country. He will be visiting us. Whoa! 
Oh, really, mother? And guess what? What? He is still single. And you are single. I want you to look your best. Mother, that is no biggie. You know your princess. Mm -hmm. eh? Trust me. I know my princess. Yes. And very soon my princess will become a real princess. Because <laughs> you're going to have Prince Alex and Princess Susan. Yes! <laughs> Finish your trick. Thank you, Mother. Oh, Divine? Yes, Dad. You're sweeping already. I was about calling you to come and do some cleanup. Uh, make sure you clean everywhere. We're expecting a visitor today. Okay, Dad, I will. I am going to the supermarket to get some drinks. See you. Thanks, my girl. <laughs> My queen, you are welcome. Thank you. Greetings, my queen. Greetings. How my are prince. you? Mr. Bassi, you're welcome. You're welcome, my queen. You're welcome. Please come here. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bassi, yes, my the meal was delicious. Really? Mm -hmm. You're correct, my son. The meal was specifically prepared by Susan, I guess. Of course. <laughs> the meal was prepared by Susan. Mm. She's a very good cook. Mm. I see. Come on, I well, see. that reminds me. Lucy, I've not seen Divine. Where is she? Divine? Yes, sir. What are you doing there? I'm packing the plates. Oh, that's right. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. pretty. Super beautiful. And gentle too. Humble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Susan is gentle too. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, my prince, on behalf of my family, I want to say that we appreciate your visit. Thank you, Mr. Vasek. And as you go back, please send me well to your father, the king. He will hear. Thank you very much, Mr. Vasek. Thank you. And I hope you'll visit us soon. We sure will. Sure will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My prince. Yes, Mr. Kesh. Yeah, this is the drink I was telling you about. Wow. Fishers eat it. We have the punch. This is the punch. We have the whiskey and the bitters. And this punch is very good for the ladies. It's sweet brandy. And my queen here can have it. What? Can I have that? Oh, my queen. You never told me all this while. At least I should be taking this one at night. Mm. To make me sleep well. My prince. Yeah. I want you to invest into this product. Your friends in the States, when they come in, they can also invest in it. Mr. Kesh, this I is promise. good. I will invest my money in this. Okay. And I will invest in this one. This one, that's good. Oh, thank you, my queen. <laughs> this is real business. Hey, Mr. Kesh, can I have a taste of this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see the blend. International standard. How is it? Mm. Mom, this is smooth. Wow! We should have gone to the buses with this. At least to give to the wife. That's true. This is for the women. Oh, that's true. I'm so sorry, my queen. Mm -hmm. Mom, that reminds me. And what is that? You know, the other day we went to Mr. Bassi's house. Mm-hmm. 
And ever since then, I've been thinking. Thinking about what? Oh, Mom, calm down. <laughs> that day, Mom, I couldn't just take my eyes off that Mr. Bassi's youngest daughter. My prince. Divine. You see? <laughs> the, the one that was killing the devil. I saw the way you were stealing glances at her like this. Mm. Like, ah! you men are so pretentious. Mom, how did you know? You're just like your father. Don't uh, <laughs> think our queen is a dollar. We all saw you the way you were sneaking your eyes towards her. Thank you. <laughs> ah. No, I'm really, really interested in her. I know. I saw it in your eyes. You never cease to amaze me. You just like your father. <laughs> anyway, I support you to that. Thank you, Bob. Go for her. Thank you, Bob. No, I'm really, really interested in her. Yes, she's humble too. Hmm. Beautiful at heart. Yes. Wow. Thank you. That we say, I think we should toast to this good news. Wow, sure, sure, sure. To sure. my praise. Uh -huh. <laughs> And to the vine. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. <laughs> the vine. Yes, sir. Now you see why humility is good. The prince and the queen, they both commended you. I am very sure they like you. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. The vine, what was it the prince gave to you while he was going out? He gave me his complimentary card. Have you called him yet? No, not yet. Mom, Divine, you need to call him. The reason I gave you that complimentary card was for you to call him. You don't have to delay. Just give him a call. I am sure that the prince is expecting a call from you. But Dad, uh, isn't it too soon? What's he think otherwise? Oh, come on, stop being pessimistic. Listen, this is an opportunity that a thousand and one girls will dare to have. Say. It is true that the prince likes you. Give him a call. Whatever you discuss with him, just let me know. Eh? <laughs> okay, Dad. Oh, yes. That's my girl. <laughs> Mom? Yes? Did you notice the other day the prince came? He didn't even pay attention to me. Um, from the look of things, I think he likes divine. Is that what's bothering you? Calm down. I saw the way he kept throwing glances at you. He likes you. But you know men, they love to pretend. But mom, why did he give her his complimentary card? Look at Divine. Eh? She has this pitiable outlook around her. So everyone wants to kind of help her or, you know, make her feel at home. You won't blame them, so just put your mind at rest. Nothing is at stake. Okay, Mom, you're right. So, Mother, what do we do? Because he might not visit us again. <sighs> Fine. I have been waiting to hear this. Now, I will tell you what we'll do. You will dress up and go and visit the prince. My Mom. Like yesterday, <laughs> you'll go in there immediately, change, wear something gorgeous. Go there and, baby, yes, mom. blow his mind. Yes, mom. I trust you. Mm -hmm. okay, cool. Before you leave, you come, let me look at you very well. <laughs> oh, my mom. Later, mom. <laughs> <laughs> my teddy bear, my princess. My prince, you have a visitor outside. One Miss Susan. Let her come in. Hello, beautiful family. Hey, greetings, my queen. Greetings. I'm fine. Really? 
I am Susan, Bassi's daughter. Oh, you visited the other day. Yes, we did. So how are you? I'm, I'm fine. And how are your parents? They are okay, ma. You're welcome. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you. <laughs> My prince. Mama, I remember. Yes. <laughs> My prince. How are you? Fine. <laughs> so, how about your sister? Ah. Mm. She misbehaved and my dad bruised her. So she's shy to go out. If not, we would have come together. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Let me excuse you both. Let okay, talk. Okay, ma'am. Are you serious? Are you please? <clears throat> so what do I do for you? My friends, I just came to keep you company. I want to be around you. I want to go and see a friend in town. Okay. Can I join you? If you don't mind. I'm sorry. I don't need your company. My prince, are you asking me to leave? Whatever. I greet you specially. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, well done, sir. Yeah. What's wrong with that lady? Do you know she almost pushed me down by coming in? Don't mind the girl. Just imagine the young Women with their drama. I'm telling you. <coughs> How is everything? I'm okay. So what's the plan for today? You look good, bro. Uh, thank <laughs> you, bro. I just want us to leave the town. Look around. Catch our phone. Goodbye. Yes, Dad. Have you called the prince yet? Yes, I did. And what did he say? He said he wants to see me. He wants me to come over to his place. Wow. I told you. So what are you waiting for? I wanted, wanted to wait for you so you'd come back. And I also want to inform my stepmother about it. Must you inform your stepmother about this? Yes, Dad, I have to. It's okay, you better do that fast and leave immediately. Okay, Dad. Okay. All right. I'll be expecting to hear from you. <laughs> okay, Dad. Demo. Oh, please. Spare me that mom thing. Do I look like your mother? Sorry, Ma. I came to tell you that I want to go out. Uh -huh. So? Do you have to tell me you're going out? Anyway. Where are you off to? The prince wants to see me. Really? Yeah, we can go now. The prince wants to use you the same way my husband used your mother. Get out! Who cares where you're going? Oh, look at her. Legs like Oporoko. Stockfish. Nonsense. Yeah. Oh, welcome. Hello. You're welcome. Have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Please, who do you want to see? I'm here to see Prince Alex. Okay, Prince. Your name again? My name is Divine. Divine. Divine Basi. Divine. Okay, wait a while. I inform him. Mom! 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 Easy! What is it?
is it? What happened? Mother, have you seen the mess you have put me through? will end well. Let me alone! Let me alone! Oh, 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 you don't have to do that! Maybe she's gone there to embarrass herself. No brains. I wish she had brains like me. All wrapped in one human being. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you by my side. Thanks. Just don't think of anything, okay? I want you to be mine. So don't think of anything. Feel free, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the lucky girl. Good day, my queen. How are you? I'm fine. Well, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Just give her this. Well, I'm taking her out. All right. Mm. No problem. You take her out. Okay, mom. My daughter. Yes, mom. Relax, okay? You'll take care of it. Yes, mom. Be safe. Be careful. Okay, mom. All right, mom. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me get it off for you. <laughs> Thank <Huh>? you. <laughs> for me. That's so beautiful. First of all, I am not your mom. The beautiful things the prince bought for you. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. This is the same way your mother snuck into my relationship with my husband. Now you want to do the same thing to my own daughter. It will not work. Get these things out of my sight! Don't even open the past to the other side. 
mom. See what the prince got for me. Who is your mom? Susan. Divine. What is it? What is the problem? Why are you crying? I I hope this is not about the prince. No. It's my stepmom again. And for the opt-in time, I have told you not to worry yourself about your stepmother. She's jealous. She's so exhausting. It's okay, I know. Please wipe your tears. Stop crying, please. Please sit down. It's okay. I've told you not to worry yourself about her again, okay? All right. So, Divine, how did you go with the prince? Oh, Dad, it was wonderful. He made me feel like a queen. He mm. even took me shopping. Really? And guess what? What? He gave me this engagement ring. Wow. <sighs> this is beautiful. I mean, I didn't want to say yes, but he pleaded and pleaded. I finally had to give in. <laughs> you know what? I am so proud of you. <laughs> Divine, honestly, I was not expecting anything less. <laughs> I'm so happy, Daddy. Oh, same here, same here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Susan, you're looking depressed. What's the matter? Becky, you want to understand. Tell me, I will. You know Divine, my stepsister, right? Yes, I do. What about her? That girl is a witch. She's getting married to that worthy prince my mother was trying to hook me up with. You don't mean it. Is the prince blind? Huh? Can't you see you? My dear, you've met a lot of better men than the prince. Don't allow that bother you at all, okay? But none has proposed yet. Oh. So why would I be worried? Eh? I'm so worried. Eh? I'm so worried. My dear, just relax. Everything is going to be fine. Don't bother yourself about it, okay? Okay? Hello? I've heard you. Mr. Kesh. My prince. Man, I can't wait for today to be over, man. <laughs> Today is your day. Yes, bro. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> wow. Ah, I feel alone right, right now. I think immediately after your wedding, I'm going to get myself a wife. <laughs> you need it, my brother. You need it. You seriously need to get a wife. <laughs> what? Man. It feels good to be getting married, my brother. Well, it feels so, so good. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And this is how you look. We are good to go. Husband material. <laughs> 100 yards. <laughs> My prince. Mr. Bear. Then I can't wait for today. To I greet you special.
Cash. Cash. My prince. Please, come, 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 help me. I don't know what happened with my wife. Please, come, 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 Cash, come. Cash, open the door for me. Open the door to the hospital. Open the door for me. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Just don't understand. Take it easy, okay? Just relax, please. Why would she faint? Just take it easy. Wait for the doctor to come, okay? Um, gentlemen, good day. Please, you guys, just excuse us for the meantime. Let's check on her. All right. Thank you. So, she'll be fine. Calm down, okay? The doctor's already with your wife. Be a man, okay? Just take it easy, please. Calm down, you'll be okay. Don't stress yourself too much. You'll okay yourself for God's sake. Take it easy, please. Please, I beg you. I'm here with you, please. I can't even explain what just Happened. See, even me, I don't understand. My friends, where's my daughter? Mr. What happened? M Mr. Bassi. Where is my daughter? Mr. Bassi, calm down, please. What do you mean, take easy? I want to see my daughter this minute. The doctor is already with your daughter. Oh, where is she? Where is she? Inside. Everything is under control. I want to see her this minute. It please calm down, please, I beg you, okay? Doctor, how is my daughter? Just calm down. Uh, can I see her this minute? Calm down, she's fine. Calm down. She's fine? Yes, she's fine. She just needs to rest. Nobody should disturb her, please. Excuse me, I'll be in my office. Take care of her. Be a man. My friend, how, how did it happen? We are about entering the vehicle. She just fainted. Just like that? Just like that. Just take it easy, okay? My prince, take it easy, okay? Excuse me. You have to take this thing easy. Take it easy. My daughter. I know this is not the will of God. <laughs> I am sure God will expose whoever is beyond this sooner or later. <laughs> Please God. The wine get well soon. <laughs> Please get well soon. My queen, 
Oh. Yes. We are about going on a honeymoon. And she fainted. What? Where is she? Can I see the doctor? Let me know what happened to her. Okay. Excuse me, I'm coming. My wife! <laughs> oh my god, we are awake! <laughs> what are we doing here? You're in the hospital. Hold this, hold this for me, hold this for me. What happened? You fainted! <laughs> oh. ah, thank god! Hey! She's awake, she's well, we are going on honeymoon. Yes. Mom, we are going on honeymoon. Welcome back. Yes. Please yes. take care of everything for me. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. That's okay. good. Doctor, calm down. I know how these things are. So how much is it bill? It's not about the money. This is unprofessional. We know. We are sorry. What if something happens to her on her way out? Nothing won't happen to her. Nothing. Please, we are sorry. Let's go to the office, please. What is the money? Let's see the doctor. <laughs> Confidence in you. Bassi, Bassi, wake up, wake up. Bassi, wake up now. You can't lie here. Bassi, wake up, wake up and go inside.
I can't believe he's gone. He's okay. <sighs> he was the best father a girl could ask for. He's okay. <laughs> huh? Baby, he's okay. <laughs> Stop crying, please. I'm here for you. Please. Come on, stop crying. It's okay, stop crying, please. I don't want you to break down. Please. Come on, it's okay. I'm so sorry, okay? It's okay. Mom, you've been posted to Calabar for your youth service. That's good. Uh, Divine is there with her husband, so when we get there, you're moving with her and um, serve, serve very well. I am not comfortable moving in with Divine. Mother, come to think of it, she is my younger sister and she is married. Please, mother, don't even go there. Please, excuse me. What are you talking about? You don't want to go to her house. No problem. Hmm? If you don't want to go to a house, then you have to sort yourself out. Or if you want, eh, you come and live under the chair. Look at you. Or you think you're not old enough to get married. See, small divine, five years difference in your age, is married to a good husband, a prince. You couldn't get anything for yourself. Big for nothing. Mother. You want me to get married? How do you expect me to get married when you spoilt me? Who would want to marry a spoilt woman? A mother! Another spoilt man would want to marry you. Another spoilt man. Who spoilt you? So you cannot train yourself. Who trained Divine? Didn't you see the way she was behaving? You were busy shouting all over the place. Copying at my nose for me. Do this for me. Don't eat food. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Mbok, stay here. <laughs> Nonsense. Please, just get out of my house, please, because you're beginning to irritate me. Get out, get out. I say get out! Big <laughs> for nothing. Yes, thank you. When I tell you cut down, cut down, you won't listen. Have sense like your mother, you won't listen. Is it not better for me that she moves out of the house? She couldn't even take a little bit of my smartness, my brain. She wants to carry her father's uh, stupidity. Well, continue being spoiled. You will jump spoiled man, all of you. Spoiled. Spoiled children. The, 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 the whole thing continues. Susan, why do you look so sad? Hey. Divine. I, I have just been posted to Calabar for my youth service. I don't know if your husband will permit me to stay here with you people through this period. <laughs> my husband does not have a problem. And my sister, you can stay as long as you want. Hey. 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 How is mom? She's fine. Kill. She's fine. Divine. You have a good heart. God bless you. I'm so grateful. Okay, nothing. Thank you. Okay, let me show you to your room. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, let me, let me guide you. Thank okay. You. Alex, um, like I told you, 
Let me go to America. Okay, mom. The doctor asked me to come so that he can run a few checks on me. Take care of yourself. And take care of your wife. I will, mom. Be good. Alright? Yes, mom. <laughs> mom, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. <laughs> Divine. Mom. Take care of your husband. I will, mom. Let you in safe hands. Divine knows her onions. <laughs> she knows what you like. Yeah, and she'll do justice to that. Thank okay, you, Mom. Take care. Take care of yourself, Mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> enjoyed it. I did, my love. <laughs> Thank you so much, lady. Mm. Thank God I married you. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I'm going to do it. What did you miss? <laughs> you missed a whole lot, my guy. Don't miss this pleasant aroma right now. Oh, wife, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Why is she talking to
Baby, I am sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, wait. You left me for two weeks. Baby, I'm sorry. Ever since I ate that food, that food you saved me that morning. Everything about me changed. I'm, I can't even remember the last thing I thought of. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Thank you. 
Why didn't you go to Dubai again? Huh? We didn't go to Dubai again. Huh? Thank you.